Hi everyone. Thanks for joining us today. It's good to be able to spend a few moments together looking at God's Word. You know, I find that some days don't go quite the way I expect. That's certainly been my experience over the last few days. I've had lots of interruptions, important things, good things, certainly things I'm glad to be involved in, lots of connections with people. But trying to get this recording done for today, it's been a little bit of a struggle. The last few days haven't always gone the way that I had expected. It was like that for the disciples in Mark chapter 6. That was a day that was supposed to be a day off. Jesus and the disciples had gone off to a remote place where it would be just them. They would be able to recharge their batteries and rest and pray and just be together. But it didn't work out that way. The crowd discovered where they were and word spread very quickly. Hey, Jesus and his disciples are over there. And so the people came out and by the middle of the day, there was a massive crowd. And what was supposed to be a day off for Jesus and his disciples turned out into anything but that. In fact, the Bible says that Jesus acted with compassion on the crowds because they were like sheep without a shepherd. He thought they'd come out all this way. And so he began to teach them and to tell them about the kingdom of God. And then it became late in the day. And so the disciples interrupted Jesus. Uh, Jesus, you know, it's getting late. We should send the people away. They could get fruit, food from the surrounding houses and villages in the distance. And Jesus said, no, how about you feed them? Well, of course, the disciples would probably have checked all their pockets. We don't have enough, and there are thousands here. It would take half a year's wages. So Jesus said, go and find out what you do have. And so they wandered through the crowd, and they came back with a little boy whose mum was the only one in that crowd that day who had packed a lunch, a few fish and a few loaves of bread and Jesus gave thanks for that. And then he turned back to the disciples and said, OK, guys, I know it's been a long day, but I need to get this crowd seated. So go and get them sitting down in groups of 50 and 100. If you read Mark chapter 6, you'll find that that's exactly what happened. So those 12 disciples worked through that crowd and worked hard to get everyone seated only to come back to Jesus to find that he'd taken those few loaves and those few fish and multiplied them. And now their job was to go and serve those thousands upon thousands of hungry people. And so they spent the, all that evening distributing food until everyone was fed and had had their fill. And then as the crowd began to go home, the disciples looked over the hillside and that the, there were all the leftovers. Jesus said, we're not leaving the hillside like this. Go and collect the leftovers. And so they went out and they collected 12 baskets of leftovers. It was supposed to be a day off, but it turned out to be a day of work. Even though it was a good day, it was also a day that they didn't expect. Now, you would think that that was the end of the story. But then Jesus said to the disciples, right, guys, we've got to be on the other side of the lake by the morning. So I want to send you ahead of me. Row across the Sea of Galilee and I'll meet you on the other side. And so with that, Jesus was gone and the disciples got into the boat and started to row across. Their day of rest had been a day of work. And now it was turning into a night of work. And then suddenly it went from bad to worse. There in the middle of the Sea of Galilee, the wind began to pick up. The wind began to toss the boat to and fro. The waves were huge 
and they were straining just to keep the boat upright. And then one of them looked uh, up and saw what they thought was a ghost. If the storm wasn't bad enough, now there was supernatural activity on the water and a ghost seemed to be heading straight for their boat. And suddenly the ghost spoke. It wasn't a ghost at all. It was the Lord Jesus. And this is our verse today. Mark chapter 6 verse 50. It says, Immediately Jesus spoke to them and said, Take courage, it is I. Don't be afraid. And with that, he stepped into their boat, the wind calmed, the waves settled, and they made it safely to the other side. Here is my point for today. Sometimes we get a day, a week, even, even a month, an, exp an extended period of time where it just seems that everything has turned upside down. We might have had one set of expectations, but th things turn out completely different. Even when there are really good moments, like the miracle of the feeding of the 5,000, there is still this unexpected work and additional stuff to do that just turns our days upside down. They didn't get the day or the night that they thought they were going to have. You know, sometimes life does that to us. And we end up in circumstances that we never anticipated. And yet the voice of the Lord Jesus comes from that day to our day, giving us strength and encouragement that we need. Do you hear him speaking to us today? Take courage. It is I. I am right here with you. Don't be afraid. That's his heart for you and for me today. Whatever unexpected situations you are facing today, whatever storms, take courage. Don't be afraid. Jesus is with you in your boat. With that, let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we receive from you in this moment, by faith, courage. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you are with us and that you are bringing us safely through these difficult times. Lord, I pray for every person today that is in the midst of a set of circumstances that they did not anticipate and they certainly don't want to be in. I thank you, Lord, that even there, even now, you are with us. So I pray that you'll come and calm the storm, that you'll come and calm the wind, that you'll calm fear and bring us safely through to the other side. Thank you, Lord, for your presence. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Well, be encouraged today. Sometimes you don't get the day that you expect, but the Lord is with you regardless of what you face. God bless you and thanks for being with us today. Be encouraged and we'll see you tomorrow.